Long, all month long, of course, and each day this month uh, for Women's History Month, we're featuring phenomenal and successful women uh, right here in the Piedmont Triad. And today we are talking about a new art exhibit that features creations from 15 women all around our area. It's being called Women Behaving Badly, and it, this is available for viewing in Greensboro now. Yeah, and joining us now is Sunny Gravely Fouché. She is the executive director of the Tabs Art Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for spending some time with us. First thing I have to ask you, I love the name. <laughs> yes, Absolutely we love, love it. it. <laughs> what is the story behind that? Um, well, we decided to partner with Triad Stage, or we had an opportunity to partner with Triad Stage to come up with a visual um, representation of a performance, a play that they have going on right now. Um, the play is spanning from March 14th through April 2nd. It's called The Revolutionist, um, and it's about four revolutionary women uh, during the French and Haitian War. And so we decided that we wanted to do an exhibit really just showcasing all these phenomenal female artists that we have here. So we decided to come up with women behaving badly. <laughs> we love that again. Uh, and it's cool that you're kind of branching out one piece of art and making it into a different kind. So mm -hmm. what can people experience when they come see this exhibit specifically, women, women behaving badly? Well, we have such an array of different artists. Uh, we have a sculptor who is from Africa. Her name is Tomi Balagon, and she has just phenomenal pieces um, of a woman with very erotic hair that reminds you of, you know, something that you would see that's mythical. Uh, we have artwork from Tamika Marbury. Myself, Sunny Gravely Fouché, Darlene McClinton, Natalie Robinson. Um, all of these artists really show a little glimpse of who they are as women and things that uh, represent who they are, where they come from, and things that kind of remind you of something that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Yeah, and that makes the whole selection process very interesting. You have a wide range of different types of artists that are going to be featured here at the exhibit. Can you talk about how that selection process worked? Yes. Um, myself, uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Tab Art Center Nonprofit, but another one of the co-founders, Darlene McClinton, we also have a business called The Artist Block. Uh, that's in Greensboro, North Carolina, that's also an arts venue. So we work with artists all the time. We see people, all musicians, theater, all of that. That's why we're collaborating with Triad Stage because we love to co-mingle and work with one another. Um, but we did a call for artists. We just put it out to the public and asked people to apply. And then we reviewed everyone's bios and um, their images and chose a variety of artists from there. So we wanted to really represent a wide variety of women. It's a very, very diverse exhibit. Um, and I really hope the public comes out to see it. Lots of different messages, obviously, from every different piece, but I'm mm -hmm. wondering what the overall goal is that you're hoping people get when they come out of seeing this exhibit and experiencing that. Uh, I think the overall goal is to just see women in a different light. Um, I, I, I love that we're pairing it with the performance because it's like you can see the performance and check out the artwork and kind of see how they parallel with one another. Um, so I really hope that people can get like an overall experience where you're experiencing the theater, but you're also experiencing the visual arts and all of those things that come together and really um, promote people to talk and have a conversation about historically what women have experienced in Beirut and what we continue to go through now. It sounds very, very interesting and I wish you great success with the events. If people cannot make it, um, how else can they be involved in the Tab Art Center? Well, you can always, always volunteer with us. We have a film camp that's going on right now, sponsored by the North Carolina Arts Council. Um, we're constantly, constantly doing Alzheimer's programming. So go to our website, www.tabartcenter.org and sign up with us. And you can also email us at tabartcenter at gmail.com.
Perfect. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Sunny. Folks at home, you can check out the Women Behaving Badly exhibit <laughs> through April 3rd. Again, that's on display at Triad Stage in Greensboro. That's on South Elm Street. And as she just mentioned, that website to learn more about the artist block, their events. That website, one more time for you, tabartcenter.org. Thank you, Sunny.